Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Drawn Smells. Now, before I, I show you the video for today, I randomly found some stuff, so let me show you guys it. First is this letter. Dear Professor Weasley, thank you for your owl. I am overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may be both interested in and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, they're OWLS. We provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective. Given your experience with us and for that, I am truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spavin, Minister for Magic, London. And this is where I got it, this room. And here's another letter. Let me just pick that up. Professor Benz, I must say I was baffled by your recent observation that students, in your opinion, seem to be rather lethargic. I can confidently say that I have not seen evidence of such lethargy in my own class. I even took it upon myself to speak with some students in the hope of getting to the bottom of this anomaly. Upon this, I soon learned that you have been lecturing them on the little known facts of historical conflicts. Perhaps you might think of moving more swiftly through the final details. One of them was almost in tears describing a test question pertaining to Grimbald Reft and the number of buttons found on a wizard's garment. In the rebellion of 1752, apparently one additional button above the norm had been affixed. It is entirely up to you, but students likely struggle to appreciate such nuances. Only my opinion, of course. And I do hope you don't mind my mentioning. Sincerely, Abraham Ronan. I got that in here. And also, there's a field guide page. Let me just read this for you. Guys, Sphinx statue. The Sphinx, a beast with a human head on a lion's body, has been used by riches and wizards for centuries to guard valuables and secret hideaways due to its intelligence and affinity for puzzles and riddles. I just wanted to show you guys me doing this as well. This little puzzle right here. So, boom. That's what we got. A field guide page, and let me read this for you. Portrait of Barufio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir, and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken, he once said S instead of F, and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Are you ready then? Is that uh, the buffalo on his chest? Sitting on him? Another letter. Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, would you? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a nice supply. I got this in this, uh, this room. Get this. I had to cast uh, the push spell on that to get in. Another field guide page, Lachlan the Lanky. This statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for what precisely no one knows. Did this as well. <laughs> Rebellion. Yeah, get that. Let me see what this has to say. Gorgon portrait. An oil painting of a beautiful Gorgon and her suitor, whose eyes are wisely averted as he bends to kiss her hand. It is said that the artist who painted this accidentally gazed at his subject when he delivered the painting and is now forever a sculpture in a garden in Greece. Oh, on the outside. Another page. Castle Ramparts. Along with powerful protective enchantments, these defensive ramparts have safeguarded Hogwarts Castle for centuries. The ancient rooms and corridors along the ramparts might be worth exploring as they harbor mysteries of their own. 
and I got that right here. Rebellion. And once again, another page. Let me read this for you guys. Glad Rags Wizard Rare. Founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Gladrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. August Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. The Tale of Ironshire My dear one, you asked about what happened in Ironshire, so I shall tell you all of it. When the spiders came out of the ground, it was like a great rushing tide. Most of us had no time to react. I and a few others took to a roof without having time to take hold of our wands. We were stranded up there for what seemed an eternity. Sometimes we could scare them off. Sometimes those eyes, lifeless evil eyes, eight of them. When they are tiring over you, all you see is your own fear multiplied eight times. That and their fangs shining with venom. One by one, the spiders picked us off. The victims' screams were awful, pierced my soul like a blade. Hearing my neighbors coming to such a gruesome end, not dissimilar to a Dementor's kiss, I would imagine. The silence was a relief. We wished them a quick death and for ourselves too. If it came to it, especially then. Finally, a witch flew by low in the air and spotted us. Stranded by then, all that was left was me and Dog's body, Pete. Anyway, we survived, but sometimes we wish we hadn't. I shall be haunted forever. Ew. And yeah, shit. Notice of moving. I've changed my mind. I'm moving to the city. I've had enough of country living. I'm going to where there is no chance I will ever encounter another spider, even the wee ones. My cottage is available to any and all who don't mind living under the specter of another spider attack. Take it all. I shan't be coming to these parts ever again. Doug Bog warning. Warning, Doug Bog sighting. Be careful. This place got like uh, multiple letters, so that's something. Letter from Tarek to Ada, one of two. My dearest Ada, I pine for you, my love. Each day we spend apart wears at my soul. We must find a way to meet soon if we were to apparate to each other. Where could we meet? I know that I am not welcome at your family's home in Maruin. I have been speaking with the Crackcroft locals lately about the increased goblin presence here by the shore. They say Ranrock is loyalist, maybe seeking remnants of work left behind by a legendary wizard who lived here long ago, a man from the east like me. This intrigued me, apparently. He had some secret work in the nearby mountain. It sounds as though this could be a perfect meeting space for us. I have an idea. This Thursday evening at dusk, will you apparate to the western side of the mountain? Aim for one of the vaults that the locals use to store their valuables. We should be safe from prying eyes there. It feels like only yesterday that we finished Hogwarts together. Two children with stars in their eyes and love in their hearts. Promise me that we will rediscover those stars in our eyes and forever protect that love in our hearts. My love always, Tarek. Okay, on to the next letter. Letter from Tarek to Ada, two of two. My dearest Ada, first I must know... Are you all right? What a disaster our rendezvous was. I am truly sorry for all of this. It was wonderful to see you in person after all this time. I just cannot believe how quickly those foul goblin loyalists became aware of our presence and set upon us. They seem to possess some kind of dark magic that I do not understand. It is a relief that you were able to disapparate quickly. I stayed and dealt with as many as I could, but left soon after. Why have these goblins taken over this area what is it they are looking for i know one thing soon no one will be safe here my love we spoke briefly of eloping have you given any more thought to it it seems as if the time for such drastic action may be approaching we must go somewhere new so that we might start fresh i have heard of small magical communities in norway some in spain as well i care not where we go as long as as I am with you. Send your response with the fastest owl. I must know that you are all alright. And I must know whether you are ready and truly willing to elope. My love always. Tarek. In the final letter for this area. A young woman is diary entry. 
February 1890. We have made our decision we will be eloping this coming Monday. I have been in contact with a kindly old witch in Oslo who has agreed to give Tarek an apprenticeship. So he'll be grateful for my knowledge of Ron Woods as well. We will be able to start anew. I shall miss my family, but my leaving is their fault, not mine. They refused to accept Tarek for his background, and therefore they refused me. I shall leave a note. They can know that I've left and that I am happy elsewhere with the love of my life. The starings of goblin loyalists, not to mention poachers and ash rinders, have made this place unsafe. I hope my family leaves eventually as well. Either way, I, we, Tarek, and I, will finally be far away. I have not told Tarek yet, but I am with child. I will wait until we are safe and... Then tell him the happy news. I cannot dare believe it. I will soon have a daughter or son of my own. A baby, too. Raised with Tarek. Safe in our new home, perhaps one day, when they are of age, they will attend Hogwarts and bring our little family full circle. I am hopeful the next journal entry I write will likely be from Norway. Goodbye, Maruin. You will always be in my heart. Important Muggle Artifact this misunderstood artifact is supposedly important to muggle warfare, though most of Wizardkind find the prospect of wielding such a hefty weapon utterly head-scratching. I came back here for a moment because look at this. If I click on it, he turns to stone, Finite. and it like messes with me, see? At first I was thinking maybe something was up with the portrait. If I like kept doing it or something, something else would happen, but no. It just uh, turns him into stone and it... Raises me up, see? Uh. Uh. And he's down for the count. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's pretty interesting. Notice of temporary vacation. Due to the plague of spiders, I have decided to temporarily leave my home again. This is only a temporary arrangement. I'll be back once everything has been cleared up, and I expect my house to be exactly as I left it. No spiders, no vagrants, no arguments. Eliezer, you will write about the bow truckles. I owe you a Knut, Miriam. All right, I got this one. So let's see what's in here. Revelio. Okay, there's some stairs, yes. Anything special? This chest. And then there should be another one, yes. Anything else? Oh my gear slots are full. All right, I made some room. Ta-da. Mariwa, I received your letter this morning and am thrilled to hear that all is going well for you and Natsai at Hogwarts. Even if Natsai has been a little challenging of late, I suppose it is only to be expected since both of our daughters are, how should I put it, strong-willed. We miss you at Uragadu. It is not the same without you, but we understand why you have felt the need to move on. I do not think that I could have remained here myself under the circumstances. How life does send us all down such unpredictable paths. One never truly knows what awaits. Not even those, such as yourself, who have the sight. But I am confident that good things are ahead of you and not, not side at Hogwarts or wherever you may go. I do hope to hear from you again and I wish you the best of luck in the meantime. Your loyal friend, Amali. Leatherin is sink. Scratched into one of the copper taps on this seemingly ordinary sink in the gear's toilets is a small snake. No one knows what it means. Hmm, interesting. Alchemy class. An arcane subject offered to older students on the rare occasion when demand suffices. Alchemy focuses on the four natural elements and the science of transmutation. All right, I unlocked this lock to uh, go in this fog and uh, see what happens. Yeah. Where is it going to take us? Oh, wait a minute. Let me just get that real quick. Let me just, uh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, we're going this one. It leads us to this. Oh, in a chest. Thank you. $49. We are now $49 richer. That is magnificent. Where is this taking us? It just keeps making us jump in these frog's mouth. Better be a decent item. Oh, that'll do. Thank you very much. Yes. Unidentified face item. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to be a uh, pretty decent item. Seeing how we had to go through all this. Look how big this 
Woman is. There's also a field guide page, obviously. Fat lady portrait. Oh, on the outside. I mean, I did say big, but uh, that's literally what they're calling her. It's fat lady portrait. This portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from any who wish to enter. She and her friend Violet are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to vats of rind they're in. Oh, she got big off of rind, huh? No, I'm just kidding. Go away. All right, on to the main video. Let's go. All right, real quick, I just wanted to tell everyone that when I was recording this video, I recorded um, the last video in this video at the same time. And for some reason, around the halfway mark, which is basically the beginning of this video, it uh, just, the audio decided to mess up on me. And so pretty much I reloaded the game and uh, I'm going to be replaying these crests for you guys. Because I don't want you guys to deal with that audio. Let me just uh, use up some of my talent points real quick. I pretty much already got what I wanted, so it doesn't really matter. Get Rebellio. That uh, maybe help me out, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what to do with the other two, I guess. I mean, I don't really... I'm not too sure if I really use any of these spells. I guess this one... This one... Yeah, I tried to get everything I got before... Oh, wait a minute, what was that? I think something about money. Reset talent. Oh, yeah, that was the new update. You can reset talents now. But I'm alright. But I tried to redo, like, all the crests and stuff and get all the items I got. I think I missed one of those rooms where you have to put two numbers. I'm gonna have to refine that for myself, but other than that... The boy runs after anything shiny and new, he does. I think I got pretty much everything that I had before. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that. It is just a Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. Tell me more about Henrietta. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you get him yourself? Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo. But I love staying alive more. I'll try and find you at Nifla. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. Thank you for your time. I should be going now. Thank you. Um, okay. That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Yeah, and for treasure. But uh, we've already been here. It's the, uh, this area right here. Red screen Rococo. That's the one we're doing right now. Oh, I guess I just kind of have to, I was going to teleport, but... Just realized that, no, that's not going to really work out. So, let me just uh, skip ahead for you guys. Alright, I'm back here. Back at Henrietta's hideaway. I defeated some Ash Rinder people up there. Just kind of skipped that. Since all I was doing was uh, fighting them. Of course, I'm sure, you know, plenty of you enjoy watching me battle I those guys. I hope haven't done anything with Rococo. I mean, we already killed Revenge. the uh, Ash Rinders, so... 
I don't know if they're gonna treasure. do anything. That Niffler's certainly leaving quite a trail. Oh yeah, treasure. Oh, oh yeah. More yeah. treasure. Rococo must have been through here. I had to uh we do all uh, this. But uh these coins must have come from Miss Coffee's I pushed through because I knew you guys wanted to watch it. Ah oh, man. Ta da. I just did that too. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. What? Did I accidentally forget to defeat that one? I might have accidentally forgot to defeat that one. <laughs> just left that one alive. Last time I came here. Oh well. They're not alive anymore. They could have survived if they would have just uh, shut their mouths, but uh, they didn't want to do that. So, they got what they got. Yeah, I'm planning on getting back to the area or the location, crest, whatever you want to call it, that I was at before the audio messed up. That's what my plans are. No, not that one. Oh, man, that one... Will you stop with that one? That one's all the way back there. I'm gonna have to get upstairs just to get that one. It is all the way back there. Look at that. Come on. Get it. Oh man, that almost hit me. It wouldn't have done any damage, but just the fact that I would have got slapped by that. I remember when uh, the Niffler I had Used to, uh, leave me money. You know, when I first got him. <laughs> okay, everything is here. Open up. Come on. Why is it messing up on me? That's there. Don't tell me. Oh, okay. About to say, don't tell me I have these in the wrong spot. No, I'm just using the wrong spell. I suppose that's kind of better. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, move. Oh, wait. I gotta recapture this guy. Let me, uh, get ready to capture this little runaway. This nick was a tricky one. Where is he at? Oh, there you are. Hiya! You ain't going nowhere, buddy. You are going back home. Everything's all. I hope Miss Coffee appreciates this. I'm sure she will. She seemed like she really enjoyed her Nifla. Unlike the other woman who just wanted the bird for its feathers, this woman possibly actually wanted her buddy back. So if it gives me the option to take the Niffler or not, I'm just going to give the Niffler to her. Because she actually likes her buddy. She's not in it for the feather, you know, like the other person with the feathers. She's in it for the company. She just didn't want to risk her life. Which makes sense. Because I think most people wouldn't risk their lives for their pets. Like, they want their pets to stay alive, of course. But, uh, they're probably not going to, like, go in front of a moving bus or something to go save their pets. They're probably just going to be like, well, this is not going to be good. <laughs> I mean, you can't really blame them. You're going to possibly die or put your own life at risk. Try and save an animal. I understand plenty of people really, really enjoy their Seems pets. Pleasant enough, little place. But, uh... <laughs> You gotta... Oh, how's it going, Key Memo? You gotta watch out for your own life. Here's your pet. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? Of course. For a fee, I'm keeping him. Of course. I don't really have to have a fee. I got plenty of money that I'm not really using, and she seems like she really enjoys her pet. Of course. I'm sure he'll be happy to go home. 
He will. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. Yeah. Now, let me do this quest. Sacking Salvin. It seems Crackcroft has a problem with Ash Rinders. I did this crest as well, so I want to get this done. I don't think I was too far. Um, I'm most pleased to be included. Like too far ahead of this. Where was this where is this person at? I'm looking at my map. Oh, okay. There you are. Oh, <gasps> Why zombies? Something must be done about the vile fiends who've infested the area. Incident. You literally just let that thing attack you. Incendio. All right. I don't want to start this crest until I get this thing defeated because I don't know what would happen. Like, what if those things still damage me when I'm talking to her? Okay, here you go. Is everything all right, Madame... Olivier. Madame Olivier. And no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Klagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trait. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvana Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Salwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Salwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. Who is Savinus Salwyn? Sylvana Salwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. Where is the castle? Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. What are they doing that is so terrible? What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy. Almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I might be able to help. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. I only want Cragcroft to go back to normal. I'm tired of living under the thumb of Salwyn and his cronies. That money will be ours. Now, uh, originally, before I did that crest, I did this crest. Cursed Tomb Treasure. Which I believe led me to this area, Clagmore Castle. And I actually defeated him. Without even knowing that this quest was about that. So I was like, oh, I guess I already defeated him. And I just had to talk to her again. So that is what happened. Well, I f at least I finally get to understand what happened. So now I start this quest. Do that. Get sent here. Do that. And then that'll be done. Or it was something like that, I believe. I'm gonna do this quest first just to uh, see uh, what's all going on. Now, go in here and go underground. I gotta remember where the uh, underground passage runs. I believe it was in here. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. There we go. Aloha, Mora. It is locked, but we have the lock picking skills required to do this. There we go. Yeah, it's a decent thing I got all those demigod statues and unlocked two and three before doing this. Just like the uh, the portrait one. Rebellion. Now, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get attacked by zombies, but I don't think I have to attack them. I, can, I think I can just skip ahead of them. Come on. Go faster. Yeah, I do gotta defeat this one, though. Oh, one minute. Um, which one should I use? I guess ice. Alyssa Travers. Uh, I was trying to read her name. I think that's what it is. Hey, get back. Will you get back now? Oh, I guess I should have did this one. Oh, these zombies are getting in the way. Hey, I got her. Alohomora. Boom. Just like that, you know? It wasn't even hard. To be fair, I'm level 35 and a half, I believe. And the max level in this game is like 40. So I'm uh, doing some damage here. Yeah, I know where this is, too. I've already Quite found it. Interesting to see where this leads. Mr. Wuthering, I can hear the Inferi that Tana summoned. Drawing closer, it has been an honor to work for Gringotts. As a curse breaker, I should have noticed that Tana could no longer be trusted. She was my partner after all. I hope you will forgive me for falling short in that regard. Please tell my family that I died fighting. Botin. Revelio. Before I go, I know there's zombies here and I gotta be careful because I'm not gonna fight these guys again. I'm just making sure there's no more letters. Okay. Because there will be more letters. I just wanted to make sure this area didn't have more. So I guess it's the next area we're about to go to that has the more letters. Yeah, that's pretty neat, huh? There's a secret passage from the castle to this area. But yeah, the, the area of that map is Tomb of Pressury. That is where we have to go. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Tomb of Treachery? That's where the map led me to. And then when I went in here, I got an achievement. The Intrepid Explorer. Discover all can dungeons. Yeah. We discovered them all. We're magnificent. Revelio. Gringotts Letter of Assignment. Gringotts Bank to Tana in Votin. Our clients have indicated that one of their ancestors may have been entombed with part of their family fortune. They are concerned that the tomb may be cursed. Please go to the location on the map, break whatever curses you may find, and retrieve any valuables on behalf of the family. You may write to me personally should you need anything. Good luck. Relco Brothering. Head Curse Breaker, Gringotts Bank. Okay... Now, Rebellion. stuff is happening. You know, we're learning their story. What's going on here? Got betrayed. Got betrayed for some money. <clears throat> there should be another letter or two that explains a bit more about what happened. But before that, let us get some of these magnificent things. Money? Items? Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a... 14 is second note. Mr. Brothering, if I do not make it, I urge you to look through all of mine and Tana's curse-breaking assignments. If Tana's trail today is an indication, I suspect he may have been keeping a portion of all the treasure we found and only reporting a fraction of it to Gringotts. 14. Rebellion. Why would he trust his partner with, like, taking care of all the money? They're partners. They should both be taking care of the money. Not just trusting your one partner, you know, but making sure the money gets to where it's supposed to go. But I guess they were partners, so, you know, he just trusted her. And Spideys aren't gonna do much here. Cursed feet. Why is this door not Rebellion. What do you mean why is it not opening? I'm pretty sure it's Lumos. obvious. You know, it's pretty obvious. 
Wait, it's not opening. You gotta get some down, butterflies. Or something. <clears throat> Did I light these things on fire just because? Like, there's possibly no point in it. Just light up the place, I guess. Yeah, I did it. Why not? Make the place, you know, all lit. Must be something around here I can close. That is the wrong one. There we go. This will help me climb. I did that just because I could. Lumos. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted you to jump. Um. Okay, get the money, get the plants, get the butterfly, and get out of here. With all the treasure or whatever we're going to get. Oh. Open sesame. Give me what I desire. Success. It better have been success. It wasn't hard. Ah. Oh. One minute, I gotta get some fire spells going. Can't damage these guys without fire. Come on, take him out. They're not that hard. Oh, why'd I block that? Alright. Stuff is happening here. Fire is everywhere. Why do I keep blocking those? Oh! I just uh, paid attention to what's uh, happening here, and it's not looking good. I'm calling them zombies, then, fairy. To be fair, though, that's pretty much what in fairies are is zombies. So, not really wrong, am I? Come on now. All right. On the map, all I had to do was, uh, which spell was it, though? Oh, uh, was it this one? Yeah. No, was it not? Was it, uh, this one? Alright, let me look on the map. I gotta see what spell it was. I know what to do, like, the pattern, but I kind of forgot what spell I had to use. These things happen, you know? It happens. Mysterious map fragment. Yes, it's a mystery. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, okay, it's the flipper one. Who would have guessed that it was the one to flip things? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I already knew. The pattern's like this. And boom. That's the pattern on the map. Give me the treasure. I thought I got something off Eureka! Now I gotta get out of here. Alright, I got out of there. I'm gonna do this one. So, I guess after doing that crest, it didn't lead me back here. Or possibly not. I don't like the looks of that encounter. So, why'd I come here? Oh, I know what this is. This is. Would be as sick of this I did this for Bell Bell. Oh, Bell Bell Bells. Yeah. If I can pull his guards away. The bells right here. Last time I actually defeated pretty much all of them before doing it. This time I just snuck in and did it. So that is what's going on. Alrighty then. It didn't have anything to do with that last crest, so possibly not. It's uh it's this. Right here. So Uh, I tried. Didn't work out so well. Can I at least sneak attack the other ones or 
Did it's my cover blown? I can stare sneak attack. It's right here, but he's not right here. Where'd he go? Rookwood should never have put Selwyn in charge. Although I suppose Selwyn is better than Harlow. Where is he at? He's just over there. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. No idea what Selwyn sees in this place. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Guys, that's gonna take time. Oh wait. Oh, he's the only one I gotta fight. Yeah, he's the only one I gotta defeat. So I'm just gonna defeat him and go. I'm not gonna do what I did last time and just fight everyone pretty much. I'm just gonna take this guy out. Why are you trying to run away into like the tent wall? You're not too smart, little buddy. That's it, that's that one. I should go and see Madame Olivier back in Crag. Wait a minute, let me just get these chest. I'm gonna get the chest. I'm gonna get the items. I don't have to fight these guys. I can just, you know, zip all the way around. Uh, that item's not a big deal, I guess. All right, I'm just gonna teleport now. I got what I wanted. All right, let me. Oh, can I not teleport because I'm in a battle? Some games do do that. I understand. But all I gotta do is this. Yeah, just get far enough away and. That'd be that. Yep. He teleported me flying. Have you heard any news about Sylvanas Selwyn? Yeah, I took him out. Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Merlin's beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. Happy to help. I need a bigger reward. I'm happy to help. I'm glad I could help protect Cragcroft from the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're welcome in Cragcroft any time. It's such a pleasant place when it's not being threatened by Ashwinders. Yeah, I'm sure plenty of these places are really nice places to be at if it wasn't for the Ashwinders. I did one main crest and then I started on the second main crest, I believe, or something like that. Oh, I started on a second main crest. Something like that. And, uh. Yeah. Ruby, all caught up. Fran Rock and his crew are in there. All caught up. of Lodgok out here. Must be inside already. Let me just get that. The coastal mine. Yeah, prepare yourself, people. Prepare yourself for the story you're about to get hit with. No, I'm just kidding. Look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong. This place oh. is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. I could fall dead asleep on my feet. I could. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait. I won't rest. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for that guy to turn around or something. I'm just gonna go in like a boss, cause you know what? I am a boss. I am the boss. Remember that, I'm not a boss, I am this the boss. To get me deeper into the mine. Yeah, we get to ride this. But I'm in the driver's seat this time. And I can move the camera angle. Kinda. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take me? Red gonna be pleased with our progress. This is pretty neat. It would be neat to drive one of these. Like a roller coaster or something. That has to be the end up ahead. It is the end. Short ride, but a fun one. Let me just get some money. Um Good for you. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the invisible spell at R during this, so 
I think I'm just gonna keep this one on with stuff like this. Yeah. Because like I said, I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna do it. Come on. Uh, I meant to uh, stupefy that, but oh well. Now that one actually got me. That was pretty nice. Come on, throw it. I was trying to throw that anvil. I don't know why I didn't do that. Hey, you guys got taken out together. Be happy that I did that for you guys. You know? I made sure they didn't die alone. I took out their buddies with them. I don't know if you're going to be happy or sad about that, but... It is what it is, because it's done. Done deal. Okay... I want to collect all the stuff I can collect before I start doing stuff. Like that, like that. Well, I guess that's the way I'm supposed to go. There's a troll down there, that. That's a uh, no. Oh no, this is the way I'm supposed to go. What am I talking about? Yeah. I'm probably just gonna leave the, the troll alone. <laughs> Cause it's probably not really much down there anyways. And it's gonna take some time to fight that troll. Especially since he's got, you know, his little minion buddies. Oh, there's a few of you guys. Well, man, I'm gonna send in uh, the troops here. Go get him, boys. Do me proud. I gotta... No, he took the hit for this guy. I can't. One minute. There we go. Take you out. Oh, I got another achievement. Finishing touches. Use ancient magic on every enemy in the game. Oh, neat. What was my last enemy that I had to do? I wonder. There's a few of you guys. Go get him, boys. You know what to do. Take him out. I had enough of you blocking my attacks. Man, my troops are magnificent. I trained these boys well. You guys can't say nothing other than compliments of my soldiers. My cabbage soldiers. They walk their butts off, man. As long as uh, the enemy doesn't have, like, a shield or something, they can do some damage. Okay, so, uh, let's uh, go. Is this the way? I want to make sure. No, it's this way. Yeah, we're trying to save the buddy here. Lord Gok, we're trying to save the buddy. Get the money. We're trying to save him, and I'm taking my time to get the money. It is what it is, though. That guy went in solo, so whatever happens to him is... Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will prop... <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to... They're just helping me. 
when they attack like that, all of they're doing is helping me. You imagine, like that guy. But can you imagine, like that guy ran walk? He literally just left. Like they just built the drill or whatever, just left. And then here I come, just destroying it all. Like, can you imagine that? All your work that you just got done is gone. But oh well, he's a bad guy, so, you know, he deserves it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to curse him. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that probably makes a bit more sense. You're not gonna last long, buddy. Don't worry, I won't make you suffer much longer. There you go. Thank you for your hard work. One less foul hulking brood. Revelio. Alright, now uh, we destroy it. Boom. What is this you've brought me? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Don't! Are you alright? I will never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time. Looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Above the Kadabra! hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Yeah, you guys didn't see that coming, did you? get out of this blasted place. Lord Gok and Ranrock being brothers, and then Ranrock killing his own brother. Yeah. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the Keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. 
All right, let me just skip to the map chamber for you guys. Actually, before I go to the map chamber, I'm going to do Summoner's Court Match 5. Because I also did that. I did Summoner's Court Match 5, which is the final Summoner's Court match. Look who it is. The final boss. <laughs> eh. Come on. Get up there. That's the teacher. Professor Ronan. You're my Summoner's Court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while, too, you know. I suppose so. Surely you've better things to do. I suppose so. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? Very well. I'm ready. No time like the present. Okay, your turn. Get on up there now. Alright. Yeah, you don't get that 100. You don't deserve it. Honey <laughs> skin. That kind of... Kind of messed over my ball, though. Look at that. That's not too good. I can get a 50 here. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Stop talking smack. <laughs> I believe he's going to get a hundred here. Yeah, because when I fought him last time, I lost first turn and I won second turn and he always gets like a hundred. But I can just knock it off like this. And there it goes. Thank you for the hundred. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. I'm not sure if you taught me how to do anything. I'm <laughs> the skin. Yeah, no matter what, I went here. Did I, uh... Did I do something like, uh... Like this? I'm not sure why I let go there. I should have kept holding it. Oh, well. Whatever. I won no matter what. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn. Did I not improve. get anything from that? Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. I won from one ball. <laughs> At least I won first try this time. Oh no, I got 110. So yeah, I guess I got 10 points. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. Yes, you taught me well. I mean natural. You taught me well. I had a good teacher. A flatterer, I see. <laughs> Although I dare say it's not unwarranted. I shall accept the compliment humbly. As the new Summoner's Court Champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. Like it did for you. As, uh, you were kind of sounding like, you know, it went to your head. Kind of full of yourself or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, time for, uh, San Ricard's trial. Main quest, baby. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Logok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Logok. Logok and Ranrock were brothers. Logok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I cannot say. Isadora told him. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. 
and a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Yeah, I could have kept uh, it a secret that I seen Isadora's memories, you know. Or uh, possibly keep it a secret anyways, maybe. If I would have answered, you know, said the other answer. But uh, we're trying to be good guys here and we're going to let them know what we found. You know, because we're possibly not going to follow in her footsteps because I'm going to guess uh, it wasn't too good whatever happened to her. We can kind of guess what happened to her. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Rebellion. Now watch this. Confringo. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? Of course. I'm not certain. I just want you to tell me what's, uh, what you think you see. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not certain. That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. I have to subdue a Graphorn? Have you ever subdued a Graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. Well, thanks for the heads up. I'm ready. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So, I shall wish you good luck, and wait for your return in the map chamber. Okay, this is where I left off at. I'm all caught up. We are all caught up here. So, you know what that means. Alright, that's going to be the video for right now. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification button. Until next time, God bless.